welcome back as we have already seen how to create a resource and sql server in this video i will show you how to create a sql database if you have missed uh, the previous video please watch that video so that it will be easy for you to understand this video i have placed the link for the previous video in the description box let me show you how to create a sql database we can type here SQL database, click on add, resource group I will select, database name. Okay, demo DB server my server name is db1 it is asking me to whether i need a sql elastic pool for time being i no need to no need to select sql pool sql elastic pool for sql elastic pool i will create another video for now i am creating a single sql database next is the compute and storage i need uh, configuration the database configuration this is a very important part to check because it involves the cost the default uh, configuration selection is showing me this much cost so I don't need this configuration for time being I will take a basic one for this basic configuration it will charge me this amount so I will go with this apply review and create here i can see the cost cost create the database database creation is initialized it will take few seconds to be completed we will get the notification as soon as it is deployed the deployment is already started The deployment is going on. Yes, the deployment is completed. We can go to the database, go to the resource. Here the database details are there and this is my server name. As you remember in my previous video, I have given the database server name as demo server db1. But when we are connecting it from any other application like management studio or some front end, we need to give the full name like demo server db1 dot database dot windows.net let me take the server name copy i will open the management studio now i have opened the management studio i will connect to the database server from management studio i have given the server name here my login id and password let me try to connect click on connect here I am getting the error message cannot open server this requested by the login. The IP address is not allowed to access the server. So for this IP address, we have not given access to the database server. So for this, we need to do the firewall setup in the Azure portal. Here we can set the firewall to give access to that particular IP address. Click on set firewall. Add IP client. 
here you can see the my IP address is already added this is the same IP address correct then save it success let me try to connect again while connecting one more thing we need to provide that is click on option we need to select the database the database is coming we will select the demo database click on connect we can see it is connected now demo demo database is coming so here we can access to tables view procedure everything we can create the database objects also let me create a sample database object let's create a table create table employee name okay the table is created let's fire a select statement so you can see we can we can access now the database we can create database objects so this is how we can connect to the database server from management studio if you like this video you can subscribe to our channel so that you will get the latest updates about this channel Thank you.